Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is the uh, 24 hour update after Patch Tuesday. So uh, looking at the uh, blog posts of uh, a lot of people that have been um, actually uh, installing the uh, Windows updates for Patch Tuesday, it seems to be rolling well. Uh, no issues out of the ordinary for now. Always, you know, for now. Sometimes it takes a few days for them to actually appear, but the, the rollout seems to go well. So I think this is uh, something that we can uh, look at as being okay. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, of course, a little delicate operation in the past few weeks. So we've seen a few buggy updates, and people are always a little scared of these updates. And uh, one thing that I want to address here, because a lot of people say, well, why don't they stop doing these updates, and we don't need them, and... Yeah, you do need them. These are security updates. They're very important. And, um, you know, I've seen a few people say, well, you know, there's no there's no updates like that on, on my Mac computer. Yes, there is. There are monthly updates on your Mac computer for security. There's as many flaws in, in, in Mac computers there are in Windows. It, it, that's no, uh, that's always been like that. Uh, people thinking that there's no security flaws in a Mac are uh, completely out of track of the reality. Uh, and Linux also. It's just that um, on Linux, it's like under the hood. We don't really see them most of the time. They, they do them kind of seamlessly, which is the way Windows should be, but it's not. And uh, as for the uh, Mac computers, well, uh, you usually get a you know software update at some point. So, um, you know, th there's updates for security on every platform that every, every platform has security flaws. Um, apart from that, of course, uh, there are some people were asking me, is, are there any um, bug fixes in here? Yeah, there's a few little things that they did tackle within, but not a lot. Uh, just a very small list of issues that they actually have fixed while they are actually doing this update. Once again, it's, um, you know, I, uh, a lot of you have been saying, does it, does it fix the start menu problem that some of the updates had? And no, it, there's no, um, you know, Microsoft still is kind of in denial that that exists. Uh, it's still saying that that's not an issue and there's nothing to fix there. Yet, yeah, I do see a few people that do have it and it's kind of interesting. Is it a, uh, you know, and I was thinking about something. So a lot of people have said, well, you know, I restarted and it's fine after a restart. And um, of course you should always restart your PC uh, for every update and for everything because it um, you know will update everything where needed within the Windows environment. Another uh, interesting side to this: a few people said that they had that uh, issue with the Start menu, and they updated their NVIDIA graphics adapter drivers, and after that it was okay. So could it be a third-party problem, which would kind of maybe make us understand a little bit that maybe it's okay not in windows the problem but really a third-party driver uh, you know it's a very difficult task because uh, windows is the only operating system um it's one of the only operating system that has to tackle so many different uh environments in pcs that are very very different uh, you can't compare windows to mac os because it's not the same thing mac os is for devices that are made by the same company uh, Windows is a software. It's made to run, and it's actually pretty amazing that it runs in billions of different configurations. But of course, the more configurations, the more the chances are you have some issues in there. So you know, it always be like that, and um, it it's part of uh, doing a software that's adaptable to almost everything. So anyways, the rollout is going well, and uh, hopefully uh, it's gone well for you. Uh, most people that I've seen uh, seem to go well. I had a lot of people, because uh, I was talking about some of the problems of uh, Windows updates, and a lot of people also wanted to say, well, I've never had any update problems. Well, I don't have any problems with Windows updates either. I, am, I have several machines here. They all update, and none of them I see here have a problem with Windows updates. So it gives you an idea that uh, it is a small amount of people in reality that have problems. But like we say, you got a problem, you're mad, and it's, you know, I get it. Uh, and don't forget that some of them have problems because the PC itself has some glitch. Um, it happens very often. 
I've seen so many weird things happen in the world of uh, PCs and Windows. And um, although, yes, Microsoft does mess up from time to time, um, there are some issues that are sometimes not even uh, related to Windows. They are something else, third-party software, hardware, glitch. And uh, that's difficult to... Uh, it's difficult to make the difference and you know of course what you have in your face is windows so of course the first one that must be the problem is windows and, and not the pc but uh, i can tell you there's a lot of glitches in windows that are because of the pc not because of windows if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching